While well, we're starting to work on the house, we had a friend of the family come out and help us out with cutting down a couple of trees. He's pretty well equipped to do that with chainsaws and all the other equipment. So he took down a few of these dead trees. And this big one over here is pretty cool because we're left with this with this the base of the tree which is making a great bench. We've got help from everybody today. Abatan's down there trimming the hedges, pruning the citrus trees. We've decided we're going to take these panels out. They're worn, the operation is pretty shaky. And again, I can show you here, this is just wide open, so air is um, blowing in through both of these pop-outs on both sides of the house. So we're going to take out these shutters. So they could, they could be rebuilt, but the operation is pretty pretty bad on these. So what, what we want to do is get this wall, this, this taken off, this storage bin, get the wall framed in, get some wall sheathing on there, insulation, and then we'll figure out a nice detail for some siding we want to do here. We'll start pulling these panels off, get this removed, get this wall ready to frame, and we'll get a wall framing in there and some plywood sheathing. shutters out now you can see how this whole cabinet was completely open big giant gap and an open wall in there so we're gonna go ahead and remove this cabinet now we'll try to reuse what we can came off pretty easy so now we have a big hole in this side of the house we'll go ahead and get this prep to frame up this cabinet panel came off in one big piece maybe we can sell this on Yahoo auctions all right we got this cabinet off and the trim around it is off as well This is a header that goes across from one side of the house to the other and looks like it's two pieces. You can see this joint here has settled a little bit so I'll do what I can to try to raise this up. Let's see if it's willing to move. Alright, this is looking good. The demo couldn't have been easier. We can start getting the framing in, so let's go ahead and finish up these studs and we'll get some blocking in. We'll be ready for plywood on the outside. Then we'll insulate tomorrow and get drywall going on the inside.
this is ready to go. So we're gonna put this plywood on. We've got our cedar trim on the sides. Everything is all framed. Top is blocked. We got a trim on here. So we'll get this plywood in and then tomorrow we'll get the inside insulated and get some drywall in there. framed in, plywood up, ready to go. Here we are early at Nishimuta. Got to pick up a few more supplies. Looks like we're the first customer. the back side of one of these walls insulated not my favorite job I can tell you that but it's almost done it's pretty easy it goes quick all right we're on the side of the house this is where we had one of the pop-outs the cabinets and then on the inside we got our insulation in and our first piece of drywall in so we'll go ahead and get that screwed off and then get the next one in above it since the span in between um, end to end was less than 1.82 meters, I just went ahead and cut it to length and we'll get these couple of pieces installed horizontally.
All right, we're on the north side now. I'm gonna start this horizontal siding. This is um, cedar siding, nothing fancy, just lap siding, which is pretty standard for around here. And the span in between um, the two trim pieces is 150 centimeters. So I chalked vertical lines at 37 and a half centimeters, and that's gonna be our nailing pattern. This is some of the bundles of the siding. We've got the finished pre-stained siding here. And then over here is our stain production center. All right, I started installing this siding and I'll get the rest of these pieces cut and ready to go. I'll also show you a little picture of the detail of the spacing. So typically you often see these installed um, with no spacing in between them at all, just laid tight, but I'm putting a little space there of probably four millimeters or so, and that provides um, a little relief on the spacing between them, so you see it adds an extra little detail. All right, we got our siding in front finished and trimmed out. The vertical siding above, I don't know, we may go to horizontal siding. This looks pretty choppy. When you have the vertical siding in such short pieces over long span, it, it looks kind of busy. I think everything might look a lot nicer with horizontal siding, but we'll see. So for now, we'll just hold off on staining any of the vertical as we may go to horizontal. Let's go take a look at the other side. That's finished as well. Okay, here we are on the other side. So this wall is done as well. The horizontal siding is finished. It's, everything's trimmed out. So again, these were the two um, Tobukuro, I think they're called, the cabinets for the storm shutters. So they were removed, the walls were framed. We got plywood sheathing on the outside insulation and drywall on the inside and finished it all off on the outside with pre-stained horizontal cedar siding.